Thank you for joining me on Jikoni Magic. Welcome. Today we are making beef osobuko and this is a cut of beef that comes from the upper part of the leg. We will need two celery sticks, two carrots, one medium sized onion. Do not chop them too finely because after the long cooking process they will disappear into your food. 250 ml of white wine. You can use any brand that you prefer. Personally, my choice is semi-sweet. If you do not want to cook with alcohol, use either chicken stock or beef stock. A handful of parsley leaves, two cloves of garlic grated, one teaspoon of lemon rind. 250 grams of osobuko that is seasoned with freshly cracked black pepper and salt. Take the osobuko, dust it very lightly in flour, shake off any excess. Now heat 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil in a pan and then come and place your osobuko and sear it on very high heat for about just 2 minutes and then turn it over and do the same on the other side. This browns the meat and it imparts a whole new dimension of flavor. It gives it tons and tons of flavor. After two minutes, because we do not want to cook our beef through, come and remove the osobuko and set it aside to rest. Check on your oil. Is it too much? If it's too much, reduce it and then add your vegetables. Now, the reason I'm saying check on your oil is because osobuko is a very rich cut of beef and the bone marrow gives it a lot of oil after cooking and your food might be too oily. Now, come and add your white wine since the vegetables have softened as you can see and let it simmer for about 5 minutes or so until all the alcohol has evaporated from it. You do not want to cook with the alcohol inside because it will not give it a very good taste. Now, come and put your beef or sobuko into the mixture and take your beef stock and add until it covers the beef. Let it come to a boil and then reduce the heat so that it's uh, simmering and cover. Let it simmer for about one and a half hours. This is how it looks after about an hour and a half of simmering. Then add your tomatoes. You can add your tomatoes at the initial stage where you're putting your osobuko. I prefer adding mine here because I'll end up with um, some chunks and texture to my tomatoes. Then take your bay leaf and add it. Bay leaf will introduce a very nice taste and flavor. Okay. Now remember, like I've always said, once you're done with your bay leaf, remove it. This is how the food looks after an extra hour of cooking, after we added our tomatoes and bay leaf. Notice how the stock has reduced and the way the beef is so tender. If you try and lift it, it will just fall apart. Okay. Now, look at the vegetables. They are still visible. They've not all disappeared. That's what we want. Now, to make our gremolata that is going to be used for garnishing, remember the parsley that we started off with, the garlic and the lemon rind. Come and mix them all nicely, nicely until everything is incorporated together. Okay. Once it's incorporated together, come and serve your osobuko and garnish the top. Look at the dish. This is such an awesome dish, full of richness and flavor and just waiting to be eaten. So guys, dig in, enjoy, tell me how it goes. Until another session, when we meet again, keep it jikoni magic. Bon appetito.